स्टूडेंट्स क्लास टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर टू ऑलमा मिल्स पार्ट वन सो टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू राइट टू सी बी एस ई एग्जाम दर इज बोर्ड एग्जाम सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट्स वाई आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रिंग इन दिस वीडियो ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट आइडियाज एंड मेन प्रॉब्लम्स also hard's problems higher order thinking skill problems so what you have to do is you have to watch full video at the end of the video you can find the assignment work that is homework we are first to our uh, class work then at last at the end of the video you will get homework clear so full video you have to watch clear then only you can write even uh, Uh, side by side class work also clear class work uh, by pressing pause button you can write in the notebook class work then at, at last you can do homework also clear ye every video i will add homework part also so you can find every video class work homework so it will be very easy to revi revise also clear while doing a revision you can uh, again you can see this video and you can learn it clear that is the beauty of uh, this video clear see first we will see introduction clear algebraic expression so in ninth class also you studied algebraic expression what is uh, algebraic expression an algebraic expression is an expression made up of constant variables along with basic operations along with basic operations clear what is constant constant means fixed value clear constant means fixed value the value does not change 2 means 2 only 7 means 7 only okay you cannot change the value clear that is constant all numbers are called constants clear what is variable the value can vary clear value can vary that is a variable the value what changes value changes that is variable for example uh, last three letters of alphabets clear that is a variable x y z always we denote a variable x y z clear that is last three letters of alphabets understand then along with basic operation what what is basic operations mathematical operation that is mathematical operation what are the mathematical operation plus minus into divide clear you see the example 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 so 5 is constant 5 is constant here clear here variable you see x variable is x then plus symbol mathematical operation or basic operation clear so together It is called expression. Clear? Any expression you have constant, clear variables and a operation. Okay. Some more example also I will write here. Three x plus five. This is also expression. Clear? This is also expression. Even two x is also expression. clear so these are the expression in each expression you have terms clear in this expression in this is first term second term third term you have terms so how many terms are there in this expression three terms are there three terms are there in this expression how many terms there two terms so always the term is uh, uh, splitting with the mathematical operation clear the main role of math basic operation here plus and minus will be split the terms clear here what 3 into 3 into x 3x plus 5 so 3x is one term clear And then plus 5 5 is uh, another term clear here the plus symbol is uh, splitting Into two terms, clear. That is a 
very important here. So this expression uh, is having two terms. Here, one terms. Here, one terms. Then uh, you learned in lower class coefficients also. Clear? Coefficient means what? This x squared coefficient is 2. Coefficient of x squared is 2. Coefficient of x is plus 3. Then this is constant term. There is no variable in the term means that is constant term. Clear? Here coefficient of x is 3. Coefficient of x squared is 2. Okay. So next you see polynomial. A polynomial is an expression in which the exponent on any variable is a whole number. Exponent means what? Power. Power on any variable is a whole number. See, polynomial is just the expression. Clear? See, expression, just the expression. But the exponent of the variable, you see, all variable, it is whole number. Clear? Exponent on any variable you take. This is, this polynomial is uh, what variable, variable in polynomial in x having one variable polynomial in x clear this expression is having one variable clear one variable all exponent you see that is whole number clear even the last term 1 into x power 0 you can write 1 into x power 0 1 into 1 you take that is x power 0 clear you can write that's why x power 0 is 1 that's why that will be ignored clear now second one also you see the number may be fraction okay number may be fraction clear the constant uh, may be what uh, uh, fraction clear even that that's why what uh, real numbers if you, you the coefficients you may have what real numbers clear any real numbers these are the examples of polynomials clear Next, we will see degree of a polynomial. The highest exponent on the variable in your polynomial is the degree of the polynomial. The highest exponent. Here, in the polynomial, you see the example. In the polynomial, highest exponent. Exponent means power. Highest power in your polynomial. That is degree. Here, uh, uh, in this example, you see. Here, uh, what is the highest power? 2. So, the degree of this polynomial is 2. The degree of this polynomial is 2. Same way you see, the degree of this polynomial, highest power is 7. So, degree is 7. Clear? So, here the degree of this polynomial, highest power is 1 here. There is no, clear? Uh, number means, in the power no number means that is 1. Clear? So, here the degree is 1. Okay. So next types of polynomials. Polynomials can be classified based on number of terms and the degree of the polynomial. Clear? In lower class also you have studied this. Okay. First you will see based on number of terms. Based on number of terms. Monomial. You know monomial means a polynomial is having only one term. Example you see 7x, 6x square. 9xy like this you can write on clear so many examples you can write on so next we will see binomial a polynomial is having two terms your polynomial is having two terms that is called binomial example you see x plus 5 we have two terms then we have 3x squared minus 25 two terms clear then 100x power 5 plus 7 that is two terms so these are uh, binomials. Clear? Next to come to trinomial. Trinomial means having three terms. Having three terms. So some example you see x squared plus 3x plus 5. Having three terms. First term, second term, third term. So total three terms. Same way. You see this polynomial. Uh, 3x cube plus x squared plus x. Three terms. Then uh, root 2x squared plus 1 by 5x minus 7. You see all the powers, powers of the polynomial, you see, all whole numbers. Suppose we have negative number, means that is not polynomial. Suppose we have x power minus 2, not polynomial. Root 2x, that is also not polynomial, clear? 
polynomial means the power you have to see the power clear power of the variable okay is only whole number it should be whole number okay next we will see based on degree okay linear polynomial based on degree first one is linear polynomial what is linear polynomial a polynomial whose degree is 1 is called linear polynomial standard form in lower class also you might have studied standard form ax plus b a not equal to 0 and a b are reals real real means any real number clear example you see first one 5x plus 1 and the second one root 2x minus 5 because the coefficients uh, okay that is a and b are reals so root 2 is real number here root 2 is real number that is actually irrational number but uh, all uh, rational and irrational numbers are called real number clear in previous chapter we studied that's all next to come to quadratic polynomial what is quadratic polynomial a polynomial of degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial degree here degree 2 means quadratic polynomial clear standard form using ax square plus bx plus c where a b c are reals and a not equal to 0 a not equal to 0 is very important clear because a not equal to 0 a not equal to 0 only you will get a quadratic polynomial a equal to 0 means what will happen okay you will not get a x square term a 0 means 0 into x square what 0 you will not get a, what uh, x square term so it will be linear polynomial clear that's why a not equal that condition is very important see the examples 2x square plus 5x plus 7 then 3x square plus 6x plus root 2 clear next we will see cubic polynomial a polynomial of degree 3 is called cubic polynomial a polynomial of degree 3 is called cubic polynomial right whose standard form you see that is general form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where a b c are reals and a not equal to 0 clear examples you see first one 3x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1 second one 1 by 2 x cube minus root 2 x square plus 7x minus 3 clear so these uh, are cubic polynomial next we come to constant polynomial so what is constant polynomial all non-zero real numbers all non-zero real numbers are called constant polynomial whose degree is zero degree is zero you see the example all numbers constant polynomial clear so degree how you will know degree is zero see any number you take seven you take okay seven into one seven so that i am writing into one so in place of one you can write x power zero clear you can in place of 1 you write you can write x power 0 anything power 0 is 1 that's why i am taking x power 0 clear so now you see the degree what is the degree here degree means what highest power clear so in this polynomial highest power is 0 so degree is 0 clear but a 0 polynomial 0 polynomial you see 0 polynomial, 0 is 0 polynomial, whose degree is not defined, whose degree is not defined, here you have to remember, always remember 0 polynomial degree is not defined, we will denote P of X equal to 0, here P of X equal to 0, here, so the, this is what the name of the polynomial, Clear? We will write uh, all polynomials. We can easily denote P of X, P of X, R of X. Clear? G of X. Like that we will denote. Understand? But 1 by X squared plus X minus 2. You see, 1 by X squared. This can be written as X power minus 2. So here the exponent that is power is minus negative. Negative is not whole number. So, it is not polynomial. Same way, root 2x squared plus 2 root 2, 2 root x, 2 root x. 
So root x, how will you write it? x power 1 by 2 fraction. So that is also not whole number. Clear? So exponent should be only whole number. Okay. So here also using 1 by x there. X can 1 by x can be written as x power minus 1. So exponent is negative means not whole number. Clear? So these are not whole numbers. Next to some points you have to always remember. First one, degree of constant polynomial is 0. Okay? Degree of 0 polynomial is not defined. Degree of linear polynomial is 1. Degree of 4th degree polynomial is 4. Degree of nth degree polynomial is n. Degree of quadratic polynomial is 2. Degree of cubic polynomial is 3. Clear? That's all. So in the next part, okay, we will see a uh, 0 of polynomial, value of polynomial, clear? Then relations uh, between uh, coefficient and zeros, clear? So we will continue in the next part, clear? So at the end of the video, you have assignment work, so do it, clear?